No, nah, I'm not gonna lie. For this to be a mall is insane. This is tough. Yeah, where y'all at? We just pulled up. Alright. You talking to Tyreek? Uh, did you ever get a hold of Tyreek? No. I'm about to call I'm about to call him right now. You say what? I said I'm about to call him right now. Alright. Oh shit. Alright. Uh I'm I'm forty five minutes away. I just talked on the expressway right now. Yeah, whatever. I'm still down yeah. Yeah, alright, stop playing. What do you mean stop playing? All right, I'll, I'll talk to you later. All right. Play too much. Should I just barge in? I don't even know. She know where coming? I don't know why I can't remember. We can't answer the door right now, but if you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. Don't do that. Now, do now why would you try to come in here like I'm dressed? <laughs> what you mean? Hi, Sharif. Hi, Sharif. Oh, we can't sit next to each other in your house? I mean, y'all can. I'm just trying to make that comfortable. Oh, <sighs> I'm gonna have to block that out the, the video. <laughs> oh, <laughs> y'all talking about <laughs> Michaela? You see, you be asking me where my mind be when I be getting it from. That she who I get it from. <laughs> you talk about that? You gonna say that in three black men? <laughs> and I thought, not a see, then I thought about wait till they see y'all on the expressway. Look, are you okay? <laughs> 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 That's my stuff. <laughs> what is she doing with that? One? You got it? Mm -mm, he flew off. He gonna get it. Oh, I just saw him fly past my head. He gonna get electrocuted. <laughs> I'm telling you, it sizzles so st I was like, oh my god, I smell smoke. This thing might be dangerous. Yeah, don't hit nobody Can with it. Can you touch it? Yeah, I touched it earlier. No, I won't touch it. I dare you. I, I touched it earlier. Touch what? Really? I'm not gonna touch this. I'm not gonna kill a fly. I dare you. You should have like it just murdered. I should have, right? <laughs> Did you know it wasn't going to sting? And I was going to be charging her. They're not going to sell that. Just to, you know what I'm saying? Like in a store and everybody can just touch it and they're going to be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like store, and everybody can just touch it and get in place. Are y'all ready for this little mini vacation? Let's get it. You ready, JR? Yeah. Uh, uh, you ready, Michaela? <laughs> he going to kill the whole uh, vlog vibe. So the plan now, man, we're going to head to. This bag ain't light. Y'all can walk up. I don't know why y'all literally taking our time. All right, so the plan right now, man, we head into uh, Wisconsin, and we're going to spend the, the fourth there, uh, see a little fireworks, and then we're going to head to the mall in the morning. Yeah. Shameless. Oh, man. You got some, uh, 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 Never mind. Right. I thought that was your car, boy. Yeah. Oh, damn it. They took your car that quick. Hold on. You gonna chase him? Yeah. But he's in sport mode too quick. Man. <laughs> I can go up a little bit if you need me to. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. All right.
<laughs> a new femur? Yeah. Maybe I get a couple inches, that'd be cool. Be like, <laughs> yeah, let me get to like six, seven. That'd be kind of cold. <laughs> Y'all be like my dick. Why are you scared? If you scared, go. You got it. Yep. All right, y'all. I know I keep saying this, man, but now the vacation is about to really kick up. So we leaving Wisconsin now. We about to head to. Minnesota to Mall of America. We about to turn up, man. Right, we had, I didn't get a lot of chance to film last night, but we watched fireworks. Went, sat in front of a bonfire, watched somebody throw a chair off of a balcony, almost into the fire. Uh, Play some softball. See, so yeah, I might drop a few clips of that down below, but. Where am I just standing? <laughs> Look at Tyreek. <laughs> <laughs> y'all we just got to the mall man and this place first looks is crazy i don't know if y'all can see back there but i believe that's like the amusement park all over there but we had to stop first to the food court and grab some food because we hadn't eaten at all today right so we're gonna eat this food down give y'all a rain one out of ten how it is a and w we're gonna go shopping All part of my master plan, there we go. Oh. All right, so out of 10, I'd probably give a and like a nine. What you give it? Eight and a half, nine, yeah. What you give it, Caleb? A seven. A seven? I still say that canned A and W is better though than um than this. But yeah, so now we got our stomachs full, man. Y'all know what stores y'all wanna hit up first? I'm just on my mind right now, I'm just excited to hit up Crocs and uh Fabletics and Nike. So whichever we see first. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Oh, you don't care. Is it, is it okay we go to Crocs? Yeah, that's cool with me. So I guess it's telling us to go down. Why does it keep changing? Because it's on level three. So you're gonna take the escalator down. Okay. To level one. And it should be 
down this way. Okay, I got it. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. For this to be a mall is insane. This is tough. They got a whole Ferris wheel, like four roller coasters. This is actually crazy. Yeah, right there. Right there. I guess they sold out of black crops, which is kind of crazy. No. Oh, everybody over here. Damn, yeah, fifty dollars for some crops? That's when you start rubbing your head, y'all. You see a price that you start rubbing your head. <laughs> I might. That, I, I saw it over on clearance. I don't really got nothing on clearance. Yeah, the store is kind of small. Say it again? Small in here. Yeah, one thing I will say, I'm going to be honest, y'all. Mall of America is a little, I mean, the Croc store is a little underwhelming. Just a little bit. I think it's like McQueen ones. These McQueen ones tough. I like, I kind of like these black and red, but those 54 instead of 49. Classic reds, 49. I think I might grab one pair of black ones. You think it's smart to grab one black ones and then double back if I, um, our deal for today is buy one get the second pair twenty five percent off, but it's not white or black. So if you do want to buy one and get the second pair, it will be like with these colors. Okay, there's five. Are you happy with those? Fun fact. My original Crocs that I have are like a size and a half too big. So these fit this one. Should, should I get two or one pair? One. Cause I kind I kind of want the red and black ones. I'm not gonna lie. I know you like to hate on me. Tell me these not tough. For a little kid. Like, where are these on like some casual, like not serious, trying to match, but just like on some cool shit? One normal pair, one cool pair? Nah. You want those? Let me see how much they are. Ooh, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Them things, $70. I'm straight. All right, y'all, first bag secured at Crocs. And again, I, I'm not going to show y'all just yet what I got because I'm going to make a separate video on a haul or the things that I purchased. So we just finished Crocs now. Any spots y'all want to go to next? That's specific? Let me see. We're just walking around. You Somewhere you want to go? Where you want to go? Uh, we can keep going this way. Alton State, Pandora, Store Salmon. Athletics is right there in there. Now this damn there is a transformer though. Nordstrom, after we check out Fabletics. Some expensive taste. I'm not trying to go here, I'm going upstairs. The only thing she Unless pointed out wanna... was Prada and YSL. So what you really trying to do? Clothes. A girl can drink. Yo, this Nordstrom has like three floors. Yeah, no, y'all. It's straight designer here. We, this, this out of my pay bracket, man. I can't afford none of this. Straight Versace, Hugo Boss, Montclair. Brands I don't even know how to pronounce. 125 for this regular Schmegler ass tee. This bitch knife. Oh, and it's cut off. Spider. 125 for no sleeves. Spider. <laughs> Man. Okay, wait, we might be on to something. Yeah. Not bad at all. 35. 
little nice tea. Oh yeah, this not bad. See, I mess with the like the thick like color. Like look like kinda like the oversized type thing, vintage look. I mess with that. I don't like the fitted shit, bro. That shit, first of all, that should be hot, that should be itchy. Right. Like we some spaces and shit. So this might be the golden spot, y'all, for the graphic tees, man. But part of me telling me like to just look around the, the mall a little bit more before I start making purchases, you know? Yeah, for real, for real. Hey, this. We got an NWA one. Put on easy You know, that's right too. Matter of fact, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna check I'm gonna check the sizes on these cause this might be a go. I'm not gonna lie. I'll still wait. We still, this is our third store, bro. This is our third store. Yeah. Let me see what size they go up to at least. I ain't gonna grab it. Definitely double XL. See, that, that only, these only go up to a large. Oh, damn. I just messed their shirt up. These go up. To an XL. Yeah. That might be a no-go. What about these right here? Yeah, that's fire. They go hard. You just gotta have a good fit to go with it. It, it don't got like a crazy graphic on it though. Yeah, and I don't, I don't want a boobie shot no horse or nothing. I don't want none of that. Yeah. Just check on this side. They got a uh, La Bamba. Uh, like something on the bottom? Nah, they got La Bamba. Like on, like on the bottom rows? Yeah, La Bamba. Okay. Oh, the bottom rows might be bigger actually, bigger size. True, true. Let me check that out. Mickey, you know, we don't fuck with rats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Medium. Yeah, no. Now I'm messing with this stuff. Yeah, that's hard. I like the market. The thing. That's supposed to be like a, like a Marlboro knockoff? Yeah. Oh, bro. And that guy right here, the dog is my child. I don't fuck with that. That's just that black though. That's something I don't fuck with that green. Yeah. We in Urban Outfitters right now, man. And. Once again, they got some hard shirts just like Nordstrom's, but they biggest size, the, the dude says, is probably like an XL, so I gotta lose weight, man, or find a better store. <laughs> but they, they tease hard, though. The music, don't sleep on the music The either. music tough? Man. I'm not going to have full shop mode yet? Yeah, see, like, they got the, the vintage look of the Tupac tees. They got some more hard tees over here, too. Little vintage look right here. Death Row. This hard over here, Tyreek. Death Row. Oh, we like the distressed yeah. collar, kind of tight collar too, so it's not too loose. That's I mess. Good. I mess with that for sure. Like, yeah, man. I mean, shit. We gonna be here for a whole day tomorrow too, so we can always double back to these stores. Right. Hell yeah. No war. No war is tough. Bro. Yeah, they look like they got some classic stuff in here. And Lu we're in Lululemon right now. But everything's just plain and it's like super expensive. But I was telling Tyreek, y'all, this Lululemon in the store got um, like a little bar. They got a, a, a studio, yoga room, all type of crazy stuff. So I'm, I'm gonna probably explore while Michaela's still looking and see if I can find everything. We'll go to the bar area right over here. whole extra section over here yeah I think that might be the area it's like the studio and stuff because y'all can't see but uh, there's like lockers and stuff back there we'll probably put their stuff at <laughs> so where y'all youngins trying to head to next Ooh, I, I, got, I got to go in there with the cold room I think they got that cold room in there and uh, Canada Goose Okay, yeah, no, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> this is one of the biggest things I wanted to try out, y'all, at Mall of America, was the Canada the Goose Cold Room. Cold here. Oh, yeah, I need out, I need out. <laughs> nah, it's freezing in there. It's cold. Yeah, nah, so they got a, a whole cold room just to test out their, their coats, right? Yep. That's the main test purpose of coats. it. Yeah, damn. Negative 12 in there right now. <laughs> I was hot and now I'm not. That's how you was gonna take? Yeah. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. Yeah, nah, that was tough. For real. 
Alright. It's not Nike, it's Nike Mall of America. Michaela, can, can you uh, explain translate. this? Translate. <laughs> yeah, translate this for us. So we're supposed to take the escalator up? Uh, it looks like it wants us to go. How about this? Well, I know it's on the second floor. Yeah. So. So how much was your Lululemon stuff? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna go 80. Higher. 90. Higher. 100. Hi. 130. Hi. Bro, for two shirts. Yeah. 150. 100. If, let me see them shirts. I'll show you later. Okay, we're we not going to show it. We're going to show everybody on camera. Show everything on camera. You too. 150 for Blue Lemon shirts is crazy. But no, just to get a better look of the uh, Lego store. Look at that. That is wild. The back angle look crazy. Pause. So I know the front. Chill, chill. I know the front is crazy. R&B theaters. They got a movie theater here? Kind of overlook of the Lego store because we're not going to wait in line for it. He might actually wonder where he's at right now. Yeah. 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 I would have to have like a specific outfit for those though. Yeah, but have all blue. I'm looking at these right here, but why the laces are just so yellow? Like they've been worn. That's a decent Air Max selection. And the Vapor Max. Yeah, they air matches these ones. Yeah, I'm too close to I'm not close. Oh, the, this is not up to close. What? I said these only 115. I can't. Uh, That's cheaper than my Lululemon. No. I'm going to try these on, but I'm going to blur them out in the video because I can't show y'all. It's, it's weird. So, I know for a fact, I did my research, there's two different types of these shoes. One is the laces are all white, and then the other ones, the laces are a little yellow tinted. And I think these ones have the little tint, and the, the yellow tint and the laces, which I don't necessarily prefer. So I'm, I'm gonna ask her to clarify if that's true and see if they have the other pair. All right, y'all, well, very, very unfortunately for me, Nike, I think, was an unsuccessful was an unsuccess. Uh, I might come back to grab some. I saw like one thing I kind of liked, but man, y'all, Mall of America does not highlight clearance and sales like uh, other malls do. I think because it's such an attraction that they know people gonna come and spend money, so you know why apply those sales. That Nike store that's called Nike Mall of America, which I thought was gonna be huge, is only one floor and it's like smaller than, you know, the local Nike stores near where I'm at. See if we get some souvenirs for the fam or something, man. Great. You gonna get something for your mommy or dad? I was trying to get something for my dad because he asked, but... I know this is not me. <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> that as well. Whatever. Is this all women's stuff here? <laughs> Big in Minnesota? He from Minnesota, you know that? Yeah, for real? I don't know. I mean, shit, maybe. <laughs> maybe like a keychain or a mug or something. A t shirt. This may be the one small men's section over here, uh, way up north. 
Does it say Minnesota on it? Oh yeah. You want Minnesota to be bigger on it? That might be the only men's shirt. Well, I got a few right here. Look. Yeesh. It's pretty cool. She said she said he wants a shirt. Yeah. So Michaela has informed me we were at the rich people Nordstrom, but now we heading over to the poor people Nordstrom over there. Oh yeah, another souvenir store over there. We going there. But yeah, after we check out this next love from in the store, the souvenir store, we gonna head to the regular people Nordstrom rack yeah. and see if they got uh, more affordable clothes. Cause like I said, still a few items that I'm trying to get that I need to fulfill that they might have. So. Yeah. There's moose in Minnesota. I guess. I thought it was Canada. But like further up north, like Maine, Vermont. I guess it is. <laughs> oh yeah, now this store is way better. Wait, if it's not the Midwest? Yeah. Nah, this is the right? Is Minnesota considered the north? I think it's a Midwest. Really? They fake Midwest. They got a lot of moose? Yeah. I can definitely see your dad wearing something like this. What's it called? Is it really 2000 Lakes? I thought that was Wisconsin. Or is it? Well, I guess not. Man, apparently they got moose now. They got 10,000 Lakes. What else are they going to go? That's how you know we got to get out, out more. What size is he? Oh, he's a 2XL? <laughs> I don't know why she's hiding it like that's personal. Well, I mean, I guess that is personal information, but it's not nothing serious. Hey, y'all, Michaela going crazy, man. She's already cashed out at two stores. Yeah, the Crocs mine, but I'm only, I'm only at one store. You already at two stores. One's for my dad. What? You got killed? Oh. <laughs> what is this man talking about? I think that's the cotton candy place that we saw. What, got killed? Wait. Remember over here, because that's tactical urban combat that me and Jerry was talking about. I like free stuff. Free sent. Right, they got a big, big word in free samples. Right, the sea salt? Sea salt caramel, yeah. That's king. Oh, this, okay. this one right here, yep. Thank you. Taste test, I'm gonna rate it. Can I try the red velvet? It's pretty rich in taste. Thank you. Okay. I have no clue what it is. Can I try it? Really it's good. <laughs> what is it? Just chocolate? Well, fudge. 60% off Michael. That's not Yeah, we, we in regular people Nordstrom now. Yeah. But I'm not. You said you were nice enough? Yeah, I'm not. Maybe in 10 years. Well, I'm about to head to the men's section. Yeah. You hear me though? Oh, that fucking murdered my mouth. Jesus Christ. What? Yeah, bro. No, not no Diddy, no Diddy. Is, no is that a no Diddy? Kind of, possibly, potentially. Yeah. Depending on the scent. Uh, well, I think it's all fucking taste is fudge, bro. Yeah, you might have to, you might have to say no Diddy. I'm not gonna lie. No Diddy. Uh, no. God bless me. You laugh. Yeah, you are OD. <laughs> Y'all, they advertising thirty dollar graphic tees like that's cheap or something. Oh. Y'all let me know in the comments, man, if I'm a cheap person, because $30 is still kind of crazy to me. Not crazy, but it's not like that's a super great deal. But I might just be a cheap person, like I said. Still find some. Them kind of ugly, but. Is it? Eee! These bitches is a, a Lego collab. With the little Lego thing on the side. 
That's a real Lego. Nah, that's kind of cool though. Damn. So you gotta look, cause we was finna walk. I would've never noticed that. For real, walk right there. You know what I'm saying? You saw what? Oh, snap. Hey, I'm ready now. He said, I'm ready now. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice that was the straw type hat. Oh, God. So you went to that. Shit. Yeah, the lining inside of it kind of kind of cold. Yeah. If it was like the khaki like that you got, it would be tough. Yeah. God. My sure. granddad used to have one of these. Never yeah. seen them more, but I always have one in this closet, my brother. Right. They might have those hats and lids that you're looking for. Mm, the bad hats, yeah. We can try to find lids next if you yeah. want. Yeah, this is Alright, y'all, we got our next bag secure. We went to Nordstrom's and Michaela got some. I got some. So these are not all my bags. These are a mixture between me and Michaela's man. So where y'all wanna head to next? I got the CBD store. <laughs> this man, this man a fiend. So yeah, we get, we gonna head down there, and then is somewhere you wanna go? They, did you get the text message? Uh, Johnny went back to the Airbnb. I think I told you that. So before we leave, I just wanna check out Liz. Yeah. yeah. And then there's a few other stores we can go there tomorrow if that's cool with y'all. Yeah. What's that massage place too? Hold on. That's it right here. I keep a good ass fucking like back massage, no caps. No, I'm, I'm like, I'm not even playing, bro. Like, no Diddy, like, all seriousness. Oh, um, yeah, no Diddy. Uh, what, yeah. Where did Diddy come from? I get, I'm saying it's like a dude in there. You know, sometimes it'd be like, yeah. If it's a dude, you're not getting a massage? I'm going to be like, no Diddy and like, all upper back. Every like, time no you touch you, no back. Diddy? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> sign this waiver. No Diddy. Right. Which one do you think look like the best? I'm messing with this, or is it like one of like the, the plain green one or something? I like that one with the sixes. You like this one? That one's hard. That one's decent, yeah. And the 11s, too. The 11s? Yeah, uh, each one right past your hammers on it. Oh, this one? Yeah, that one's hard. And I like that one, too, with yeah. hammers on it, too. Right, something like that, basically. That's nice, too. Yeah. Some slight. Because this might get dirty. Yeah. This is my like No, no. All right, between these three right here. Yeah, this guy. That black and red hard. She has black and red one? Yeah. I might do that. Yeah, I'll probably do this. Mm -hmm. For sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thing on yeah. Alright, yeah, y'all. A little side quest, man. I had to pick up a little case. A little pricey, but it was worth it. You think so? Yes. Worth it? Yeah, all right. I had to choose between these over here. Thought this was probably the best one. What, what you think? There's only one critique that I don't like about it. That I didn't notice. Since my phone is rose gold, I don't like how it looks. Through like the back of it. You can buy these things to go around it. Oh, it changes like the color look of it? Yeah. Probably do that. I don't know how we ended up in here. Tyreek just made a quick right. So, what was the diagnosis? Healthy follicle, a little bit of buildup, but I mean, he's been, you know, it's time. So, hey man, keep going. <laughs> so he said he about to get a sample. He go test it overnight. Might come back tomorrow, right? Yeah. Bet. Get a serum, my oil. I should, I should have checked mine, man, because my head be itching. Nah. I should, but I'm, I'm ready to get up out of here. <laughs> I'm guessing since I lost my black hat, I might as well look to give me a socks hat. Thank you. See, here's my issue. Every time I come inside Liz, I can never find a hat that actually fits me. They're all too small. All right, size 718. Let's get this. No. All right, so Liz was a, a bust, no go. Couldn't find my size hat, man. For this store. For this store. So we'll probably uh, keep checking tomorrow for the few other lids and more stores but so far today man we about to wrap up our our little shopping i'm not gonna say i'm disappointed but i thought i'd get a little few more things today man so how you feel with your shopping for today about the same so, so. well it's a few things nice hat yeah 
But I definitely got a few more stores on my list for tomorrow anyway. So we just gonna hit the amusement park tomorrow and do a little bit more shopping. All right, so just got done eating, man. As y'all can see, I couldn't even finish the plate. That shit was probably a two out of 10. Absolutely horrendous. What the f No, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Nah, I, I ain't gonna lie, I ate one plate and then started on another one. But out of 10, I probably give it like, probably like a 5.6 out of 10. What would you give it? A six. I go seven, six and a half. Yeah, yeah. I just want to say. <laughs> All right, he don't want to say it, so. Him giving that rating is crazy because he had a plate and a half, and his first plate was done in like 35 seconds. That's all I gotta say. For me, I'm gonna give you a more in-depth rating and in, in logic behind it. What's presentation? The one thing that's missing. It was two things. These tortillas, mid. The tortillas are good. They'll tie the whole middle get better. The sauce, mid. But you, you don't need the salsa because the, the meat is good. The beans are good. The rice is good. The meat was so good. I'm gonna give it, yo, chill. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a 6.9. I want to give it a seven, but I'm gonna give it 6.9 because overall it was okay. Right. It's just a couple things that's honed it down. Wow. So he gave it a, a 1.3 rating better than I did. And I was hungry. That's why. That's why. I ate it. I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. All right, let's check out this Airbnb, man. We just finished eating, and it's our first time actually seeing where we stand at. So, off bat, it does not look too appealing. <laughs> it's not bad, it just looks kind of like weird and confusing. Like, it's a house, but I see four, three different addresses. Four different addresses. Is it like Do a you have to hit the pound button? Yeah, probably. Hit the what? Pound. That's the star. Unlocked. There we go. That's crazy. <laughs> well, I don't know where the light is, but it looks how it showed in the Airbnb pictures. Pretty spacious. Oh, shit, yeah. God damn. Kind of has a weird smell to it. Yeah, somebody smoked some steak in this bitch. I had to jump on that bitch one time. My bad. I don't know if anybody else. Oh shit, bro, what do you mean? Bro, I bought towels and shit. Didn't need to. We got towels, motherfucking. All type of shit. Tell me put a hole in the wall. Oh damn. <laughs> oh shit. All type of shit. I'm gonna take some of these home. Oh, shit. No, I'm not. <laughs> God yeah, damn. Yeah, now these rooms slightly deep. I want to see the basement too. What they talking what about? I was going to go to the back. God damn. I'm ready to cross It's very plain. But it's like, you know, it's nothing to complain about. Oh, fucking nice as hell. What you think, Michaela? There's another room that's supposed to have a king size bed. Oh, shit. Oh, a king size. Mm-hmm. I read mine, I just found it. JR took the basement, or JR in there. Damn. I love cheese. Oh, cheese. Mm -hmm. 60 gooey, gooey, delicious meals for serious cheese lovers. I'm gonna let you go first. Kiana, are we good to come down? <laughs> What'd she say? She's changing? You said what? Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> oh, this is not good. It is very wobbly. Wash your hands. Oh, yikes, no. What? This is like my grandma's basement. Look over there. Change the video title to haunted, most haunted Airbnb. Yes. Oh, this is pretty cool. What is this? Okay. Oh, sounds like a shower. You want to try some M Ms from the M Ms store? Yeah. I do. I. They even had. Yeah, I got a free blanket too. A free blanket? Not free. Seven dollars. This discount. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wait, I'll get some Hennessy. Okay. Nah. Do Henny shots? I will. <laughs> I'm down. Oh, yeah. The, the two drinkers are the two alcoholics, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna open this the right way. I don't give a fuck. This man Tyree just dipped out and got him some, some yeah. <laughs> yeah! I like that. I don't drink beer, so if you don't finish that, that's. Well, you Matter of fact, I have to finish it all. <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it. Let me hit one of them. What? Let me hit one. Fuck it. For real? What? Do you drink? <laughs> I don't. This will be my first beer ever. I bet. Uh, Does he I can drink? Open it with the, yeah. I can open it with out. Oh, outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Does anybody have a bottle opener? Why would you check for it? You want some? Yeah, I mean, I can open it outside. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it. What? Both my keys. I'm gonna grab my keys. No, I'm just playing. Like, I'm just fucking, yeah. I, I ain't gonna drink now. You don't promote drinking on your channel. I ain't drinking, it's like Nah. I don't drink beer. I don't promote underage drinking. But yeah, Tyreek's definitely so, underage. So, I'm not underage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you heard that? Tyreek, have you turned 23 yet? Nah. We, so, uh, 18. Ah, damn, I forgot the 18. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, he ain't turned 23. Yeah. Yeah, we all babies. There we go. Bruh. <laughs> that spill some? Just a little bit. Cat came over here, right? Nah, that's in the sink. Uh, it'd just be a bitch to get. Woo! <laughs> Man. If you down that that whole beer, I just don't like the fuzz. Hold I'll on. get you some from Walmart. Get this. your seat. Sure. Oh, good morning. Oh, oh, he he ain't finished. Let me finish it. The carbonation though. <coughs> oh my bad. <coughs> <coughs> <It's a> bad. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> this man, Jared, get your cousin. Bruh, this man throat go in a bottle of beer. Mm. Almost. Yeah, what? Good uh, morning. Uh, Woo! What's going on? Oh my gosh. What happened? This nigga Tyreek is a pro, no? Who gagged it? That's how foamy. Foam foam. <laughs> <laughs> what? Huh? I said nothing. What I say? I said nothing. <laughs> that man. That man, it's already different. Holy shit. That was actually good. <laughs> Get another one. Yeah. Just, just one more. Just one more. Just, just one more. One more. Not just one more. Just, just two. <laughs> two more? <laughs> yeah. How many got in there? Fuck it, we on vacation. You feel me? Okay. I ain't drinking, but we on vacation. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm drinking for all of us. Right. <laughs> My drinking is me spending a few extra dollars, you know. No god. Don't work. You trying to prank us? No, nah, I was gonna prank them. I was gonna hop on the rim uh, on the hood and be like, take off. Like, that's not my car. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and see what's up to these darts, man. Tariq asked me to hit, take one of our eyes out. Oh god, it's crazy. Oh god, it's crazy. Do you believe in me? Go ahead. I'm gonna go through this. I will. Hold on, go ahead. Yo, why the fuck you just throw a heart like that? <laughs> three! Three doors! Three doors! Three! <laughs> 
How your lame ass be doing it? That's how dark you're lame as fuck. Go dark your lame. Except, except you. <laughs> damn, he can throw. Damn, like, damn, he can throw. Beginner's lost, trust me when I tell you. Like that. You don't gotta be going to Okay, okay, okay. Hit the red button. Damn. God, you suck. That's what she said. God damn it. I'm there, bud. I suck. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's bullshit. I hit that bitch, too. Fuck yeah, it. Double bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to get on camera and be gaming it. Yeah. GG. Are you gonna hit me? I might. You might wanna go on this side. Hey, I don't wanna go get hit. If anybody. I'm not gonna hit my head on those shit. Okay, man. My head's done. I used to keep me out of the What are your final words? Fuck. <laughs> I gotta imagine that's JR head. That's all? That's the song. Biggie? Small? That's too low. That's what I said. I don't know if I got that. Trying to go work out? Hey, I no. go who? I go who? <laughs> yeah, who? What's wrong with this man? They don't emphasize sales and clearance like other malls do because they know motherfuckers are gonna buy from it since it's mm -hmm. such a big name. Go to the go to the gift shop, try to get a souvenir, and they selling hoodies for like what forty bucks, forty some dollars, and I won't spend forty dollars on a Nike, anything name brand. I'm not spending that much on a hoodie, and they got one that says Minnesota for forty some dollars. Oofta, oofta, <laughs> and mooses and bears, like nah. Now Michaela got this cold short for her dad though. That that was pretty nice. It had like a vintage look to it. Oh yeah, you gotta get a patch. All right, got it. That Lulu, that Lulu lemon, and I didn't even like it. Like that's the thing. I went to three different stores. They all had the same patches except for one, and the one I wanted, or the one that I chose, wasn't the one I really liked. But it was the best option out of the out of the group. We go to strip club tonight. <laughs>
Let's make this song go to the club. And then tell the DJ to play the song. And then make sure we... That man. We getting there. Bro. It's not like you get better at it though. I'm trying, man. This shit is fucking complicated as fuck. Here we go. Hot plate. It's eight minutes away. Oh, fuck no. The last Was there anything on that hot plate menu that you could eat? I went to I don't really, It don't really look appealing. Five. But it's a breakfast spot. I went to IHOP like six years ago. I was like, I'm never coming back. That's then I went to IHOP like four years ago. and said, I'm never coming back. Then I went to IHOP again. And, and I'm never going back to IHOP. Never. You're just a but dramatic IHOP look. IHOP is hot. IHOP charges specialty rates to be subpar. They are more than mediocre. I tried one time. Biggest mistake of my life. I tried to order a corned beef hash dinner. It was literal corned beef. That's the oldest nigga shit I ever. It was literal corned beef. Why are you beef? ordering corned beef? I don't hash. want real like literal corned beef with my eggs. I want corned beef hash with my Dude, eggs. Why? Is I'm you never going to IHOP again. Hash? I went to IHOP. Back in the generation. <laughs> I, went to I, I went to IHOP and tried to order uh, uh, some type of omelet. I forgot what type of omelet it was. Oh, no. Hot trash. I'm never going to IHOP. This is how you know IHOP is bad. They've been selling and, and been focused on pancakes, and then one year they were randomly like International House of Burgers and literally tried to change everything. And people like, how dumb could you be? That's that's crazy. That's crazy. And it's in their name, International House of Pancakes. Imagine Burger King saying Taco King. How you you sell burgers? How are you gonna just change the tacos? That don't even make sense. I'm not going out. <laughs> they actually do sell tacos. It's kind of crazy. Right. <laughs> and, and, and IHOP sold burgers. But you think IHOP should change their name to International House of Burgers and focus yeah. on burgers? I think you're just ordering the wrong shit. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's, like, that's like ordering chili. Like, why the fuck would you go somewhere and order chili? Yeah. So you telling me you okay with going to IHOP huh. and paying $15 for an omelet, hash browns, and a drink? Hell yeah. No. Oh, that's not bad. No. That's not bad at all. Yeah. Go to a mom and pop spot. It's going to be way better. F $5 cheaper. You're not, been, you know, you're not getting all that for $10, my boy. For At a mom and pop spot? That's the problem with America now. Y'all want to give everything to these big corporations. No, I'm not paying. Oh, I'm the only big corporations. Big. Are the ones that's not I'm only spending cheap money at IHOP. Because they, they gave you cheap food. It's trash. I'm not going. No. You you're not gonna eat. You're gonna the only car. time I would go to IHOP, <laughs> the only time I would go to IHOP is if today with prices as crazy as they are, if I spend no more than like eight dollars on a meal, that's it. Damn, absolute it. I found some diners, Mickey's Diner by Willie. The I night. can go to Golden Corral. <laughs> I can go to Golden Corral. Okay, I don't know about nationwide, but the one by me. I'm gonna go to Corral by me. And get All you can breakfast eat breakfast for twelve dollars. Way eleven, ten ninety nine. The food ain't amazing, but it's better than IHOPs, and I'm spending less. Well, I feel like he whooping for all you can eat. All you can eat though, it is. No, it's bad. What they were doing. Like, why would I? Why would I go to I, to IHOP? That's crazy. My bad. IHOP. Why does it bother you? It's not bothering me. I'm asking you a question. Yes. I'm just so curious. That's curiosity. That's how that's how us as a okay, as a okay. as a race advance and grow. I can't get away. I might have to cut JR from this video because hey. he he gonna seem like a certified asshole hey. throughout this whole video, like a certified hey, asshole. Put the me. Speaking of curiosity, how I said that advances us as a as a people, as a race. Shout out, and I'm not trying to be funny. Shout out to the homies that took the L and ate the poison berries first. Cause we had to know stuff was poisonous, whatever you pick, the berries, the fruit. And for us today to not eat that poison stuff, somebody had to be the one, first one to do it. So shout out to y'all. <laughs> I, I have no clue what he's talking about. I'm not gonna lie. I have no clue what he's talking about. I think he just mean in general, the first nigga that got poisoned by berries. Yes. <laughs> you walk, when you walking through the woods, you see your boy laid out and he got you know, some berries in his hand. You know they poisonous, so where did that come from? To... What are we talking about? 
Cause I, cause I told her. I when you when you driving in big cities sometimes and you trying to parallel park and you holding up traffic, sometimes you have people that be buttholes and they fly around you and be, do dangerous stuff. That's on them. They can do dangerous. And there's sometimes people who wait for you. This man parking, he stops mid park to let the cars behind him go past. Man, if you don't get into that parking spot, then I can't let. It's only a couple cars. Nah, nah. Forget them. They 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 they, they can go on about their day after you park. I forgot where I came from. For completely forgot. <laughs> Man, look, look, when you, you see a parking spot you facing the wrong way, back up down the whole street. Don't go around the block. You yeah. gonna lose that spot. Where we from, that spot gonna be gone. Just back like up down that. the street. Now he ain't lying now. For sure. You gotta go around the world five times looking for parking. For real. Yeah. <laughs> How many? What, what's the longest you spent trying to find a spot at your mom's current address? So like yeah, thirty I, minutes one time. I, I said probably 32, 33 minutes. Exactly. Bust a three-point turn, rear turnabout, anything. You better get that spot. Not no bap. What do you think? What I know or left field? Left field. Left field. Y'all about to piss me off. <laughs> left field. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going something new. Something brand new. I never had. Wow. What, what you gonna get? I asked you. <laughs> when I said it, when I said it, you're the only one that spoke up. Okay, my bad, my bad. But you know. <laughs> what you gonna get? Y'all see. Hey, it's water hospital, yeah, yeah, no cap. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, so his name is Eggy? I guess so. He got an egg shaped head. <laughs> I went to him. Not Tabasco. No, it's a different, this like homemade egg. You doing stuff. it? Is it egg? I can't, because I, I can't record myself and get everybody doing it. Okay, we do it, then you do it after. Mm -hmm. right, she gonna record, I'll do it. She gotta do it. She's not gonna do it. I'll do it with her. You three do it together, then we do it. Let's all do it. We don't even want her. Why am, I, why am I asking for your spoon? She's not gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. You said a shot. Yeah, don't give me that much. Dude, chill. God damn. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. It's like a spoonful of medicine. Oh my God. That shit came out quick as hell. Spoonful of sugar to help the Definitely not doing that. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. Yeah. Are we doing the in the middle? I mean in the middle, we're doing the toast. No, we ain't toasting because we don't spill. He got the most. <laughs> Y'all ready? Three, two, one. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not ready. Wait, wait. Oh my god. It might not be hot. Three, two, one. <laughs> no, but don't make a face. Actually, that's kind of good. It's not bad though, it's not even spicy. That's got some good flavor. I might put that on my breakfast. It tastes good. It's all. Uh, yeah. It's better than Tabasco. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they could have definitely hit me with something more spicy. I'm not going to lie. That's all. I ain't going to lie. That was actually good. You're welcome for it's putting flavorful. you on to Eggie's Fried Baby Craig's. It's flavorful. What? Look at Terry. Oh. It's too hot. <laughs> it's, it's too hot. <laughs> It's the, it's the garlic. You taste the garlic. And that, that's that's decent. Delicioso. I thought that shit in my sinus. <laughs> I'm cool, man. I like you for that meat. Do you like this? Or the family <laughs> restaurant? <laughs> I'm sweating. Got, bro, look at him. <laughs> First of all, you was, you was the main one. Like, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. And you can't even handle it. <laughs> I think it's gonna be like this. This <laughs> man, Tyreek, is actually sweating. Actually, hot, bro. God damn. How much you think you wanna do But nobody else has He's still going, it's getting worse. <laughs> oh, never mind. Eight it really dollars. Does. If you would like this. Yeah, Tyreek, bro. God, These are eight dollars. Damn. No, that's, that's solid. You had a spoon for them, bro. They were eight dollars, man. It was hot, but it wasn't like... You still do <laughs> No, the, the heat went away after like 10 seconds. Alright, I'll give like a shot of tequila. Uh, that's it's sugar is what it's called. I still want to get a massage today too. Did y'all see that? Like a little massage place? No, but I was trying to stretch. I might need one. Right there. It was $30. 30 minutes, $40. Not there. Don't, don't. 
Turn it. Yeah, no, you don't. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you, you say you want a man to do it? No. No. <laughs> what you gonna say? <laughs> Brody, the shortest. I'm trying to get that flag thing. out there. Uh, <laughs> 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 Oh. And this look real good. American. That's me. It's a hot. Oh yeah. That chicken, bro. I still got that chicken. Look how much it is. Ooh, boy. Oh, thank you. Thank you for taking it. That's Park Bay, Jr. Is that a seven, baby? Hey, let me get a piece of seven, bro. I got the extra pancake. Extra pancake. From Michaela. Look at that. I'm blessed, man. <laughs> you I mean, you can see the bowl on it. You got a man a half of a chicken, bro. You could have gave me the whole thing. <laughs> that is wild. Put your hand over it. I think it's worth the price. That's crazy. I have a taste of it. Oh, I'm yeah, out of 10, what would you give the meal? Let's, let's do the experience and everything together. Come back to me. I'm so eager. What you say, Kiana? It disappointed me because I forgot my cheese. But probably 6.5 or 7. Yeah, ain't no complaints. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. 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 I'm not going what you give a Gaylord? Um, I'd say a nine. Service a little slow before you have your bike. I would probably give it like a nine point eight out of ten. Nine point eight. Nine point eight seven six repeated. <laughs> I had something I never even heard of, let alone Pat. And I was actually surprised. Now I don't know if that's the dish. Or the restaurant because I can't rate it and say like I've had it better anywhere else anywhere else. So I wanted to say that first, but for the sizes and how it tasted, I'll give it like an eight. What? Come back. Huh? Would you come back? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like drive all the way to Minnesota just to get this place? No. Okay. But the owner owner from, from, from the city, so shout out to him. <laughs> All right, y'all. I, I changed my rating, right? I'm going to take it from a 9.8 to a 9.7 because of customer service. But I'm not going to take it down too much because I didn't tip. So, e even Trey, right? Yeah. No tip, a little less of a rating. Yeah, I, w I wasn't really too fond of the customer service. Yes. Hey, that agent lady bad. <laughs> so what's the plan for for y'all when y'all first get in there? Wink World, then maybe mini golf. Wink World. Then Lego if the line not too long. If you're on something like meat or shrimp, probably be an awesome trip. Ask her. Wink World. I don't know how to describe it. It's like optical illusion type stuff. The light mm. show. The fucking I'm actually scared. Work mess with your like I can't think of it. It's like good for trippiness. Good for trippiness. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> part. Yeah that's not. It's it. You nervous gonna rise? Yeah. I don't fucking rise like that bro. Oh yeah. How we just go up to the second floor? Like we did last time to the food court. Wait I'm using bad for the first huh? I'm using bad for Alright bet. So are some of these rides not Nickelodeon Universe that you got paid for separately? Or if you get a $60 pass, can you get to all of them? It's just Nickelodeon. I'm pretty sure Nickelodeon's the only one that has the roller coasters and rides. Okay. But there's like golf, Wild America, the rest of the stuff, and the Dutchman's course. So I guess we get the tickets from right over here at this little kiosk.
Wait, where? Flow rides. Flow rides are six points, and junior rides are three points. So we'd go on what? Three throw rides. Yeah, that's cool with me. Set. Okay. We'll do a three three throw rides. Yeah. Right, you want to pay separately or all together? We pay separately. This thing has been so difficult. I can't help. Yeah, we'll switch over to this one. Alright, so in case y'all was wondering, we actually tried out the, the amusement park, but the very first ride I got on, I couldn't fit, man. Like I've been saying, I need to, need to lose a little bit of weight. So that was the most like open ride. Everything else was more like compact and squished in, so I'm just assuming that I probably won't fit on many other ones. So besides wasting more time and waiting in line since today is our last day, we went ahead and went to the help desk and uh request to get a refund so we still in the process of finishing that up right now man and i guess we just gonna do some more shopping which i'll say maybe hit up like a museum or fly over america so we're gonna see man so i successfully got my refund man it was pretty cool about it. i didn't really ask too many questions I had to explain the situation so now we back to shopping and we at h&m right now yes, Terry sir. safe in the blow bag in here big bag <laughs> big bag H&M usually got some decent stuff, though, I ain't gonna lie. They don't always have my size specifically, but they usually got like some pretty slight stuff, man. It's like kids. Yeah, men's oh, over damn. there. Oh. I got my glasses, man. <laughs> it's kind of decent. Nice little material. 50 is kind of steep. Fifty dollars. See if they got my size. Size so right here. Nope. You ain't really seen much. I'm not either. Not gonna lie. Bro, if any fashion designer is watching this, man, I love all types of clothes, but please stop tapering all the jogging pants. Make some regular straight leg jogging pants, bro. Like, damn, that shit is like so played out to me. Even these, I don't know if these consider jogging pants, but. That's correct. <laughs> Same on these. Same on these. Man. What'd you find? Mmm, for business. Casual, whatever you want it. I'm not dying. I feel how I feel yesterday. You're not really finding much? Yeah, you gotta like really search. What about you? Huh? What about you? I've seen a few things that look decent, but I don't wanna just like buy something because I haven't found anything yet. You know what I'm saying? I wanna be a little smart. So there's a couple things I might come back for. I bet you they crocs in here cheaper. Forty nine. They got like the clogs. 
Like with the, the closed toe? Yeah. Yeah, that's ugly. I know I gotta check the price on these Crocs, man. Which I don't see it. 120. Is it worth it? Hold on. You said they got a 13. 120? I know, right? Oh, if you want them, shit. They got a sale. If they got in the 13, I might buy it. Alright. Are there any sales going on? I do have a coupon for you. How much? 15%. So that's like. So those are like, I think those are 109. So, yeah. Like 90. 109? You, you thought that it was like 120, right? Or 140? Alright. I might. I'm gonna come back. Okay. Alright. Softman. That's not a decent deal. Do it for 90. How yeah. 98. That's not bad. Keep this store name in your head, Softmark or Matt. What's it called? Softmark. Yeah. Feel this. Hold it. Oh yeah, that's warm. No I'm wrong with a little cinnamon stock. No, never, never, never. It's gonna be hard to eat and record, but I'll figure it out. So go ahead and start to interact with these. Give this a spin and watch what happens. All of these, yeah, go ahead, give it a spin, yeah. So you thought these were sculptures, you might have walked by, right? So you got straight poles going through a curved pole. You've got these things which have now come alive. This looks like spinning discs. This spins into infinity, right? So go ahead, as many as you want, crowd in there, and then look in the mirror and watch what happens to you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a picture spot. Oh, snap. So this, they they want to look at the space. Oh, oh. it's kind of cool. It's just dang it. Hold on. What are you doing? Maybe you can see it. Oh. Oh. How does it make you fall, though? <laughs> How does that work? Crazy, right? How does it work, though? So, the way that works in a normal, no room in the world will ever be shaped like this, right? Yeah. So, in a normal room, you look ahead, there's a flat plane. That's what your brain. Yeah. This one, you don't have it, so your brain's telling you the room's gonna tilt over, so you start tilting over. Yeah. Back and forth. Well, a solid picture would never capture that, so if anything moves here, do a video. And that's how you're gonna get it. You'll see, we have all human-sized kaleidoscopes you're gonna enter, it's moving, the video's gonna stand out, so definitely do that. Uh, this is the first one where you can practice taking your own picture. Just follow the directions and see if you can figure it out. Grab the ladder for stability, then take that wall and put it right down below your nose, and then lift this outer leg. Wait, you you have three legs. Yeah. Yeah, move over a little bit. All right, not do it. Okay, move your upper body out. And... Do me, do me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. What happened? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Ew, what the? It's <laughs> okay. So if I lay down on the floor and put my head here and my feet here, it'll look like I'm standing on my head. If I did the Spider-Man pose right here facing the camera, like you know how Spider-Man always has one hand connecting to the, and one hand up the side, yeah, yeah, yeah. this will look like your Spider-Man standing on the side of the wall. Yeah. If you grab this and you pretend like gravity's going this way, so I put out a hand this way, because yeah, exactly, it's gonna look exactly. You're gonna look like it's sucking that way. If somebody puts their feet against this little white wall here and your head here, it'll look like you're hanging from the ceiling like that. Like a oh, bat. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. That's it, when the bench is down. Yeah, that looked crazy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what, Tyree? <laughs> Thank you. I fell out the ceiling.
don't touch the rail. Don't touch the rail. See if we can get through without touching the rail, y'all right? I, I won't. Hey, you won't run. Ah, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> stand on it, watch out. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> now look up. Yeah, then look up. How far is that extra slope and down? Uh, it's only a bit of a See that box on the bottom? Yeah. You said it's all this weird. If you fell, you fell in far, yeah. So, and you can actually see the illusion broke on the first rung of the ladder. See that black circle at the bottom? Yeah. That's how it's all that ladder is. That's crazy. Oh, <laughs> Look at this one right here. No. What the fuck? What's it doing then? Oh, yeah, you would have tripped out at Wake World. Oh, it's, it's lights right here. Really? What? Short person. Oh, yeah. Short <laughs> yeah, they move up. Short life. JR, get your arms in the way. <laughs> Can you put your hand? Oh, nope. No, there's no reflection. Whoa. Wow. Wait, hey, you're too short. You go. You go. Wow. She's too short for it to I think the camera's. Oh, wait. That looks better. Yeah, but this one, you gotta bring. You have to have two people the same height or bring yourself to their height. Come here, Terry. You gotta bring yourself to their height. Oh, Terry's short. <laughs> So go over there and bring yourself to my height. It kind of works. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see it. what you look like, Russ. Russ Ho, go back. Russ Ho. With this one, My GoPro is literally almost dead already. And if you throw them in the air, it's lost. It just looks like you're mad. It's like, darn it. Move your head over this way, son. This way. Stand up, boy. Jared, somebody go on the other side. Echo! You ugly. Think you look different? That's an image of yourself how you never see yourself before. Uh, you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. 
<laughs> I know it's my teeth. <laughs> What the fuck? You look funny, right? Not to, you look funny to yourself because you never see yourself like that. It's a true image, not reverse. Spider-Man, 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 Spider-Man,
Yay yeah or nay? Yay. Yeah. Nay to the size. Why? What's wrong with the size? That boy looks wide. Yeah, it's probably my size, motherfucker. I thought it was a tray. That is wild. That's a kid's hand. Hey, it's free. Throw some trays. That's good. That's good. Right there. Well, almost. Some significance of a gum trip. Is it just because it was in the movie? What movie? Uh, Forrest Gump or whatever. Are you asking or you already know? No, I, I don't know. Yeah, I think it was in the that move, the Forrest Gump movie, whatever movie that was. There they go back there, Bubba Gump Shrimp. Okay, I like, I like the look of it, the aesthetics. Buffalo Wild Rainforest. Yeah. Oh yeah, one day, I want you to experience Rainforest Cafe. You're kind of older now, so it won't be like as it was would be if you were a kid, but it's still pretty cool. I mean, you can kind of see the vibe of it from the outside right now. You go, go ahead and get your little shot. What are we doing? 25 minute wait. We got a table for James Wise. Oh, Liz. Go? You got 10 minutes? You wanna go? Yeah. I got 25. I'm gonna run in there. Hey, we didn't. She was like, can I get a name? He was like, James Wiseman. <laughs> we didn't. Ain't that the NBA player? Yes. Uh, <laughs> if you wear it like this, yeah, you wear it, you know, like this. No. So I'm definitely gonna curve the brim a little bit. Should I just get one from that's already curved? Curve it myself. I think I might come back and grab this. You want to fit it? Yeah. No. No, I'm only asking because if you grow your hair out, like with me, even depending on what how which way I get it braided. I gotta adjust the hat. So imagine if I cut my hair, you know what I mean? So unless you yeah. plan on having your hair short forever, that fit is not gonna work. Yeah. I do want a little bit more hair. So that's why it depends on how you plan to do it. Back to the. I had to do it twice. I don't mean that. <laughs> it's raining. Oh. You guys is on its way. Tonight. Well, we get another modelo. Can I buy a salmon? I'm good. Yeah, uh, excuse me. What's the waitress name? Yeah, Melissa. Melissa? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Oh, bro, I feel like you sending me off, dog. No, for real. I bet. Ooh. Watch how he can go crazy. Get my list lately. What you giving out of 10, Tyreek? 10. 10? 9.5. 9.5? I probably give it a 6.4. No, seriously, 6.4. It really wasn't that good to me. <laughs> yeah, it might be what I got. I don't know. But uh, Tariq salmon was really good. The rice looked really good. I put some of the salmon in my bread, and that was pretty good. So it's probably just what I got. I don't know. The broth. Like the garlic butter or oh yeah, we, we have bubble gum if I didn't mention that, but yeah. I'm not short, so I don't feel like it. Got another one on? See, this is the one from the movie, I think. You said try the other one on? Yeah. Yeah, whichever other one you said. Thanks. 
So yeah, I like this one as well because it's also got the Mall of America embroidered on the back. You know what I mean? Just get both. Nah, I ain't got both money like that. That one probably look a little better. This one? Yeah. This one from the movie. That's why it's, I like it. These say Mall of America on the back. So that's adding you know, a little more to it. She's like, I feel like stinky people wear that hat. <laughs> yeah. It's, people don't wear it no more in this whole thing. All right, between these two. On the right? Yeah. Oh, I, I like the other one. Yeah, I like that one. Your boat don't count. Where she go? Damn. All right, I quit. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be nice for like five minutes. I'm back to all the bullshit. But I feel like, I feel like still like, like with this one, but it's unique it though. Worn. Yeah, it is unique. Who else that one? And then it's like, if I see that, I'm not going to think anything of it. If I see that one, I'm going to read it. Because so, it looks kind of aged. Like a little yeah, it just seems like a unique hat. Like, or like, like it, it's meant to read that. I mean, I don't got to get one. Because I, I feel blue like I can't make a decision right now. Yeah. That navy blue hard, both of them. That was like factory press. And that was like, you got to go catch some shrimp. That's not the one you wanted? No, nah, y'all split down the middle. That's how it's to me with the shoes. <laughs> Hold it up to your head. Yeah. That's right with your big head up. I mean, I see most people ain't gonna see your head. <laughs> I changed my hood. Why? I don't know. Does it look better? Do this one again. Smile. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Yeah, it looked it, it looks aged though. That's the thing. Wait, what the back look like? Go back to the back. Mall of America. I say Mall of America too. Ooh. But this don't need to because it's got it on the front. Ah. You said ooh ah. This one. Yeah, the one you have on now, so. yeah, right. you have on now looks terrible. You smell like Nashville. <laughs> Why we just both just talking about this thing? Should that make me mad how you not responded? Oh god. What's she saying? There's a hair over there. It's cold. I've been walking through this mall for two days and did not know that and that's the one store I was looking for. You know what they say? Some of the best things are always been in the candy goose. Yeah. Nice. You wanna go in there? In the you wanna go in there? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can do it without the jacket wait, if you want. Wait, wait, wait. What's that in first? Let's go in here first. And the Urban Outfitters should be over there somewhere. Hey, the Yeah. Hey. You, you know what the session is? doing? Can we try to call one more yeah. time? Yeah. yeah. I got I to gotta show my brother. Bet, bet, bet. I'm going to actually go in there this time, too. <laughs> it's too big, right? That is kind of big. How much is it? Oh. How much? Two seventy-five. Jeez. It's all around here. Really How much are uh, caps? Baseball caps. Caps. One seventy-five. Seventy-five or so. Yeah. Great day. Yeah. So it was a little bit warmer when you went in. Now it's not gonna fucking. It's usually about the colder it gets. You want to try on the jacket? Yeah. Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> it's it's walking here like you could have been in the Chicago store like on Fifth Avenue or uh, I haven't. Yeah, yeah, you'd be like, yeah. Can I actually try a jacket? Yeah, one time. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, I go. So depending on the style, I go up to a four XL. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We make coats for everyone. Yeah, let me grab some styles. Oh, you guys want to try like the big markets? Do yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me try that big one. See, see if I can stay warm in there. Yeah. Hey. I'm bullshit. <laughs> it's crazy. He was unfazed by that cold. No. <laughs> he was unfazed. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Over 100? Oh, five to four. Is that nice? Hell no. I mean, it's not bad. It's just basic. So why you look me in the face? Fitted. How much do you think it is? 125. Hell 175. No. Hell no. Cheaper? Hell no. Three? Two? Two twenty-five. Damn. Damn. Ooh. Yeah, put that bitch on his white. Right. <laughs> oh yeah. Question, how much are those? 
It varies from style to style. I mean, they usually range around about the fourteen hundred uh, price point. So the ones with the fur that we only sell online now are like seventeen hundred or so. Okay. That's a damn payment. Yeah, it is. <laughs> the jackets, if you're not familiar, so they're all hand in Canada, mm -hmm. and they come with a lifetime warranty as well too. Oh. So. We consider it, you know, kind of like investing in one nice thing once and not having to uh, yeah. replace it over. That makes over sense. Over again. For sure. You want this? Yeah, actually, can you this for me real yeah. quick? It might be a little bit big. I didn't have the right size for you. Yeah, how warm that feel? It feels solid. I usually don't get sleeves on It's not heavy. Yeah. That's the good. That's, it's not heavy at all. Yeah. It's actually really, really? tight. Perfect. Okay. And these will actually keep us warm in that thing. Yeah, so the jackets you're all wearing, except that one's a little bit heavier. You're all wearing this thing. Um, on its own. Okay. The, the style you have on is a little closet for you. It's a negative one. But you know what? I got a photo. That is really crazy. How do you do that? It's like I've been doing this five years. I sat here and like struggling. But don't look like you got like a video. That, that fits you. That definitely fits you. Yeah. That's the two. So. Besides, so like on a lot of our styles, they have a longer, you know, wool cup. So you know, when you need a little bit of extra sleep, like you can pull it down too. Nice. Right. Right. That's, that's tough. Y'all ready to see how warm we are? Yeah. Let's do it. You look like you go. Man, you go through the I can face anything. Sneakers? Yeah. I got some uh, blazers and panda dunks. Oh, I like. I'm surprised they have panda dunk jumpers. Yeah, right. They sell them. Awesome. Yeah, well, and they have that? Yeah. We've probably got the only one. Right? <laughs> oh, shit. This one. Like, <laughs> 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 so that's the idea. So they're not like really thick jackets, right? Right. They do a really good job at this one. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Now, hold on now. <laughs> that, that wind in Chicago make you start crying. So we have the wind right here. So it will make you want to fight somebody. Yeah. No way. Right. So that should be yeah. cool. No way. Yeah, stand right here. You'll be like going on. Damn, yeah. Bro, that's crazy. I'm yeah. bro. I feel like a baby. I'm like, what's that? Yeah. Swaddle? Yeah. Like, that's like, all wrapped up. Yeah. So let's, let's say I'm clumsy. I'm getting out the car. I said everything that's not covered under warranty. So you can still try to fix it, but any like normal wear and tear, like sleeves, cuffs, downfill, seams, and it's all covered for it. That's but great. but this probably won't nick that easy, will it? This time no, no, I mean, I've had my dogs jump on me and they have a scratch through it. Yeah. So these jackets are designed for the Arctic research in Antarctica. So this is called the expedition because it's meant for on expeditions. Wow. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. So if yeah. you look on the back, you can see it. It should say an expedition right here. So this is a grab strap. So well, the idea right here, so if you're like fall through the ice when you're working, the idea is you grab someone like this and get caught in water. Yeah. yeah. That's tough. How do you feel? Like, you may have probably a big one. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I, mean, I, got, I got the slight chill, but I think it's from my legs. Like, yeah, it's, like, it's only my legs. Well, up here, like, yeah. Yeah. See, like, usually big coats, you'll still feel something through it, whether yeah. it's coming through the bottom. This is like, yeah. and it's I'm not hot, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So, what's the most durable outer layer you have? Yeah. Is it this the one? Arctic Tech, and then there's one called Core Durable. It's only on like heavy abrasion spots like it's not on the expedition actually let me see this side so this material right here that's called core dura it's where you'll see a lot of like things going in and out or like has to be a little more durable you'll see that material on there okay and the one you were saying that was online that you don't have in stores what was that it's called the snow monitor so it's it's a level five it's the warmest jacket in the world it's been tested to like negative 85 oh, in the world yeah. <laughs> yeah. Said, i got my size I, I don't have it in store, but they're oh, online. They go for the 2X, but I think it's like 99 bucks. It's a cool coat. I got it, but it's only one coat for the rest of my life. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's a real frog. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Yep. Yeah. yeah, this is. What are your clothes like? I don't have a whole lot of the heavy duty ones in here. I'm kind of comfortable wearing it's like a car hurt, so that's why I was asking. Yeah. Like, what's the most durable? Like, if I nip it, yeah, and it tears, I'm gonna be yeah. crushed. There, so I, it's hard to compare it to Carhartt because it's a bit of a different material on the shelf. They use a different material. Right. Um, but I haven't had issues with snagging mine, so I mean, yeah. it's itself. 
but I have seen snakes, so I mean, I can't say it's like indestructible, but yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm out in the winter, yeah. so that's why I'm like, yeah, intrigued, yeah. Once you know, I get like cold, if we make a whole, long style, too, I don't have it in style, yeah, long style but imagine good. that style, but with that material, it's called the Westmo, yeah, uh-huh. it's a really cool coat, too. If you want like a long one, I'm not gonna lie, bro, the only thing I feel cold was my toes because I'm wearing Crocs, yeah, yeah. right. Same, look, no, that's how it is, like when it's in the winter, if I get cold Dude, like, my- early in the day. The rest of my day miserable. You know what I'm saying? I gotta sit in the truck, try to warm up. My yeah, whole no. lens fogged up yeah. when I came out here from the conversation. <laughs> super cold. Like, yeah. It's It'll still pretty frigid. Like, yeah. Right here. Damn. Yeah. yeah. And I'm. It's cool. still chill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Damn. Yeah. yeah. So we just ate. <laughs> <laughs> so this right. this is a backpack strap to where he can just, if he gets too hot, he can just literally put his jacket on his back. Walk his don't got to wrap it around his waist. Don't got to hold in his arm. Because this coat <laughs> keeps you warm in negative 14 with a t-shirt on under it. So. Wait, turn around one more time, Paul. Yeah. Tough. Mm-hmm. That's convenient. That's hard. It's like a ninja turtle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got your back warm, too. Man. <laughs> yes. That's, That's tough. Because yeah. I went to the uh, Rosemont oh, Mall a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. Had my coat on, I got hot. I don't know what to do with it, but this jacket is close to the base. So it's still level two, but feel that material. That's that's called that's the Cordura, so that's a little bit more durable. Uh, and what can this go up to? Or go down That'll to? Be five degrees five Fahrenheit degrees. as well, too. Damn. But how often do it hit five degrees though? Like anyways. I mean this with the city, chill, bro. Yeah, with it, the wind. it will with the wind chill, but this is blocking the wind. Mm-hmm. But throw like you said, throw a hoodie under that. Yeah, I mean without yeah. the hoodie, I mean that's what I wear most if I can just like run into the gym or running errands. That's what I usually wear the most. I'm not gonna lie to you. Your pockets how are much insane. Is this one? Jesus Christ, you see that pocket space? Yeah. I'm always someone bro. who needs more pocket space. And yeah. seeing this yeah. is like uh, you know, yeah. fanny packs, I'd be having backpacks and yeah, still can, need more. I mean, you can almost fit, you can fit an iPad in here almost. Yeah, yeah. that's so. shit, a Mac. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. How much is this one? Uh, I want to say it's eight ninety five. Seven ninety seven. Seven ninety five. Hmm. But it has the same warranty that our, all of our Perkins have jackets, so lifetime warranty as well too on that. Uh, I remember that one a lot. How, yeah, what, what size does it go up to? Three X. Three X. And the you ones want, you we I had got it. You want to try it on right now? I got it. Uh, Here's. no, it's fine. But the ones you you we just tried on all those three X's. E- those have no, y'all had two uh, really? two X XL two X. Oh, okay. I tried on three X. I'm sorry. Yeah, in in the I don't <laughs> in, have in this X. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, I didn't I didn't get it beforehand, but this can kind of fold in and snap, and you won't even notice there's a hood on it. Like you said, it's the most versatile one. Yeah, I might be getting one of these. I know. It's tough. It's hard to do one. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Can't even tell there's a hood on it. And I, I do like that there is room in there to wear a hoodie mm-hmm. for the day. That, that would just add to the warmth. Oh, yeah, that's tough. I don't know. You say it's not fashionable. Yeah, it's pretty fashionable. But it's not ugly. In ter- no, like, like in terms of like a lot of our coats, there's a lot. Double pocket. They look tactical. Come on, get shit. Hey, no, I'm not going to lie, y'all. Oh, yeah. That's That's how you sell something. Yeah. Don't be overly aggressive, but don't try to overly sell. Just just be a cool person to talk to and show us. And JR actually is really considering it, right? I might, yeah, I might get one. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've never really spent more than like $100 on any clothing item, even shoes. But for it to be a lifetime warranty and how warm that is, I mean, super warm. I was it's impressed. Comfortable. I didn't want to take it off, and I'm inside the mall. So yep. that, I'm impressed. Yep. Yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. <laughs> now we walk right across to Columbia. And the reason why JR like Columbia is because it's one of the only brands that fit him. And I don't know if I showed y'all, but he lifted his arms up and they... Yeah, that, that fit. And the only reason why I'm in Columbia is Columbia is, like you said, is probably one of the only brands with any long sleeve shirt or coat or jacket that I can find that actually fits. I got a seven foot three wingspan. Right. And so I can't find really anything else that fits consistently. You'll find tall sizes, but here I can always find it. And those coats over there, that fit perfect. So super impressive. I think this is 
two women. <laughs> we saw that Terry like, I think there's women. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Yeah, cool customer service too, man. Yeah. Shout out to Matt at the Mall of America. Shout out to Matt. Like, he took his time with us. We were asking questions. He didn't seem like we were, you know. Wasn't weird with the camera. Yeah, and he, at some point, he pretty much knew we weren't going to get close today. But he didn't switch brush us attitude. off. He didn't switch off. I mean, we were just intriguing. And he was answering all our questions. And he knows the stuff. So, shout out to Matt. Yeah, and like I said, man, if y'all, anybody, y'all, any of y'all out there want to be salespeople, be like that because even if we don't buy it, I'm definitely going to tell people about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's something to brag about. And, like, another thing, I don't know if they do commission or whatever they do over there, but he gave me his card, and like I said, I'm interested. So he said an email if I'm having any questions. So if I get one, I might be getting it through him. So yep. you never know. Moral of the story, be like Matt. Be Matt. <laughs> So my experience at Mall of America has been great. It's a great experience. But it's one of those vacations and trips to where I don't need to do it again. If I'm passing by, if I'm on a road trip, I might stop by. But the reason why I want to do it again is because they got over 500 some stores. All these tourists come through and they have no outlet prices, no outlet deals. And not only do they have that, but they charge them more than what you'll see at the other store. And they have really nothing exclusive. What you see here is what you'll find in any other store, except they tax it more. So why would I buy stuff here? Same selection, but higher uh, pricing? I'm good. Nah, he ain't lying. I definitely, I definitely am enjoying the experience just being here for the first time. You know, being to see all the different type of stores and stuff, but the pricing, they need to step up on that a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna look at this hat. Yeah, I saw those bucket hats right over there. This is the hat I was looking at right here, man. It's not a bad price either. Hey, you're not leaving till 11, right? Uh-huh. Let's just come back tomorrow. Well, I was gonna say, if you're not leaving till 11 tomorrow, they open at 10, let's be here at 10, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. I don't feel like running across the store. This is the hat I was looking at. Honestly, again, I picky. Like one little thing, throw me off. If it didn't have the New York on it, I'd, I'd take it go for it. If it was just this, I'd be like get get it. Where's the mirror at? I've been waiting on this hat all day, man. Trying to see. I feel like the top part is short, though. What you think? Yeah, look, uh, yeah, a little bit. It is a little bit. Just right from my head. That one, that's the hoodies. Deja vu. Yeah. Oh, you saw a Death Wheel shirt? Oh, you got that, don't you? The dog. Similar. Yeah. It is short, but... Like, too short, or it's like... It's noticeable short. I don't want, I don't want to say too short. Mm. I would have got one. What, uh, more control car? Yeah. yeah, you make your own. You can make your buy your own body, buy your own wheels, buy your own rims, buy your own accessories. You can build it from scratch and get your own car. I used to want one so bad at Market Show Car as a kid. Yeah, that's all I wanted. I just know I'm not gonna use it. But if I was younger, I would have bought one. Hey, I used to buy the the one from the Dollar Tree that had the core connected to it, so you can only go so far with it. Right. That was, that was mine. Yeah, like I don't, I don't think I went down here at all. Nah, hell no. I, I was I went down here. See, we were just opposite of the M&M store. All we had to do was make a left and we would have gone out. Damn, we literally walked in a whole revolution. Well, you know what? So it, it was God's plan. You think it's still wings in certain areas of the mall we haven't touched yet? Nah. Uh, I thought like we've seen probably. everything. Really? Yeah. It's 500 some stores, right? Like, I don't even remember seeing that Dunkin' Donuts. 3D World, I don't remember seeing that. I don't remember seeing it either. Dunkin'? Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing, they said it's an estimated 1.1 mile per lap. So do that three times, you gotta walk 3.3 miles of stores. So why are we I don't going think this way? I did that. Right. You know what I mean? 
uh, we walking around this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, what are we doing? Are uh, we walking around in our chairs? Yeah. <laughs> not he said, he said they not watching none. What? <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't know which way we, we came from. I'm kind of lost. So yeah, 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 unless you think you walk 3.3 miles worth of stores and then repeat anything that you did earlier, there's definitely some places you ain't hit yet. I feel like today we definitely walked up and down the same places we did yesterday for sure. Yeah, no doubt. Like, like I said, I was here all day today, here, what, four or five hours yesterday, and just now found out there was a Columbia here like 30 minutes ago. Right. Didn't even know it was there. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't been on this area either. Yeah, build a bear. I never saw the build a bear over there. Yeah, for real. Oh, who was down here yesterday? Oh, nigga, my, my nigga Tim. Bro. Oh, this, this my first build a bear. They go the other lids right there. They are. Like right. he was talking about. Oh yeah, on God. Damn. Yes, yeah, right there. There's three of them in here, right? There's three lids, yeah. Damn, nigga. That thing's stinging. Yeah, I saw this from up there. Like that. Thing. All right, y'all. We about to leave the Airbnb. Got everything packed, man. For me, it's like a kind of a bittersweet feeling so i want to ask y'all starting with jr the airbnb alone rank it one through ten since we've been ranking the whole video uh i rank it like a seven it's it's cool it's comfortable issues with the air one bathroom is a problem because the airbnb sleeps six and with five of us every time i went up to go to the bathroom somebody was there so i rank it seven six or seven something like that true I'm ready to get a seven for some reasons, but also we go in the basement. There's no light in the hallway, so somebody could trip and fall down those stairs. Mm. My bad. Was you done? That's okay. Well, Otherwise, it's good. Uh, five. There's scary people next door, and they make a lot of noise. What? Oh yeah, I heard. Cause they slammed uh like a washer or a dryer lid the other night, right? When I was here last time, you guys were gone. I, I, so the basement that you guys are in is under this, right? Yeah. yeah. I think their basement is under our room because I kept hearing like, like all the time, and I'm like, bro, that's terrifying. You keep hearing bangs. And well, stuff. if you go to the back, that wall that separates this unit from that unit, the pipes go come from both sides, and since the hole is bigger, because like an inch bigger than the pipe, you can just hear it clearly over there because I heard a washer or a dryer lid slam. And I was like, did one of y'all come down to use it? But I felt like I was being broken into. Well, I was here by myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you uh, Tyreek. Shit, eight. Uh, <laughs> I was this is my second B&B, so I don't know much about them, but I give it an eight. Eight. But I will, in terms of communication, in the terms of how everything was set up, I'm going to rank it or rate it a five star because the owners are cool, the hosts are cool, like you can't blame them for the property too much, you know, some things you can, but I'm still giving them a five star. Hey, side note, side note, they got a Roomba. That's not a Roomba. You said a uh, th third two or some, I don't know what it is. It's getting caught up. All right. Yeah, it's getting caught back on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for me, man, I'd probably get a and b a solid, probably four out of 10, right? So, what? So I have a I, I have a few issues with it. the The bed is very uncomfortable. The room uh, AC does not work. The one I was in, the house, everything is 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 poorly put together. Everything is is the doors are too big for the hinges. Nothing closed all the way. Nothing really locks that well. The the door doesn't feel like I'm that secure. There's some weird electronic door that doesn't take any key. Um, it's the paint is messed up. It's just I want to I want to go on vacation. I want to feel like I'm living in luxury. Now this was the cheapest Airbnb around, but uh, I, I didn't feel comfortable. I, I don't like waking up drenching in sweat. I don't like. I, I want to be able to walk through the house with no socks and shoes on, and not have the bottom of my feet black. You see what I'm saying? So other than that, it served its purpose. I only had to pay ninety dollars for like two days. So. I'm not tripping. Too bad. <laughs> Stop making faces and shit while I'm talking to to my people. Uh, anyways, man, I'm probably gonna close out the. Oh wait, wait, wait! I gotta go through one more time before I close out the video. Uh, I gotta ask y'all overall experience of this vacation. Rate it 
One, one high, one low. What do you mean? Favorite part, least favorite part of vacation. This vacation. Um. All right. Overall, the vacation I rated an eight or a nine. That's indecisive, but I didn't have any bad moments. I enjoyed the whole thing. Had fun in the fort. Enjoyed that day. You can get around some some people that got some alcohol in them and that'll ruin your night, but we got around that and I was dying laughing for like a couple hours, so that was fine. We went to the to the to the diamond, hit some balls, pause, uh, struck oh. struck the cameraman out a couple times. The one low, the one low, which is gonna sound crazy, is the mall itself. So I don't know if he gonna put it in the video, but when we left the Canada Goose store, I was talking about how the mall was kind of, it was annoying me because I'm not trying to be cheap and want the cheapest prices, but with such a big attraction, they're price gouging everything. And there's nothing really special in there besides like maybe the Lego store, something like that where you can't find at every other mall. But for the most part, all those stores you can find somewhere, especially being in the Chicagoland area, we can get access to almost all those stores within somewhat of a short range. And so why come all the way out here for those prices when I can stay at home and get some cheaper? And there's nothing exclusive. Not, like I can find everything there in every other store. So with that, that's a downfall for the mall. Is I won't, I would come back, but it's not a priority. Like if I'm passing through, I'll come back. But other than that, I'm good on it. Just, just to touch on what he just said, man, like I told y'all, it was kind of annoying me because when I would tell people where I was going, they'll kind of be like, oh, Mall of America, eh? like, why are you going out there? And I'm like, it's Mall of America, it's the biggest mall. But now, like, I probably had the same reaction. Like, it's it's cool, though. It's just whatever. Terry, what what, what you say? Uh, probably only for me, the low point was the drive, but also the prices. I paid $25 for a $5 teddy bear. That's just crazy. Almost 105 total if I would've got an outfit. Lady ain't warned me. Oh yeah, I, I didn't know if I recorded that. But no, explain, explain what happened though. Man, I went to like a, so my friend's having a baby, right? So I went to like a baby like store, right? Thinking it's like baby stuff. Like I ain't gonna drop no serious money, right? I get a little, mind you, little one piece, 12, 18 months. She gonna grow out of it quicker than she wear it probably more times. She tell me $105. I say, what? I blink. She's like, yeah, we're expensive here. For a teddy bear and an outfit. Yes. $105. Not even a little top. Just like a little shirt and like bottom. That's it. Man. And then I was like, okay, can I take it back? She's like, well, we got store credit. So I'm like, fuck it. I guess I'm keeping the bear. So when I go to Old Baby, don't go there. <laughs> yeah, they don't have uh, any exclusive items. And they don't have like outlet prices, which I don't expect outlet prices, but they know people gonna pay for it. Yeah, they know people gonna pay for it. But one of the things that kind of attracted me is no sales tax on clothes and shoes. But with the prices that they charge, I still rather be in Chicago and pay the sales tax. So I'll pay less mm -hmm. somewhere back there. So all right, all right, your turn. Uh, my high was probably the bubble gum shrimp last night. That was really good. Okay. Yeah, just don't mind. Oh, my bad. Um, my low is kind of the drive. It's just kind of boring, but I do still want to see a bear. Okay, overall rating? Or Six. Oh, yeah, I don't think I got yours. What was your overall rating of the, the whole trip? I think it was an eight. Eight. My overall rating would be like an 8.5. My high was bubble gum, and then the M&M store, two stories, got a whole bag of M&Ms. Low was the waitress at breakfast at Yankees. Oh yeah. It was rude to me. No didn't cheese. bring my cheese. Didn't like terrible like waitress like behavior. But otherwise, it was a good trip overall. It was cool meeting Tyreek. Enjoyed y'all having y'all come to Fort. Appreciate that. There, so yeah. All right. All right. So for me, I probably get the overall trip. I will say maybe like a 2 out of 10. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably give the overall trip a solid 8. Um, Fucking cat! I think uh, no matter where we had went, it would have been fun. Just because I think a lot of it came from being around everybody. But um, my high was probably... 
probably just the shopping. I mean, being able to get things that I've been I've been wanting a lot, crossing a lot of things off my list that I had put down before I came here, and my low. It's probably it's actually kind of mixed up one of my highs too, but that's um, the place we went to last night. It was called like Can Can or something like that. I left my camera, and I'm gonna try to leave some videos of experiences of that. But that is probably my low. Like I'm super disappointed I left that. And I could have recorded off my phone, but any creators out there, y'all know, record trying to convert or transfer uh, Apple or iPhone files like videos to PC is super annoying and hella extra and it breaks down the quality when you put it into Premiere and all that stuff but that that's probably my my least favorite part of, of the trip but besides that it was, it was pretty cool 8 out of 10 no cap fun phones underrated can 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 I keep saying fun phones wrong no but that that <laughs> might be can can was a 12 out of 10 that might be my high yeah. I might change my high, or it's tied yes. with it. That that shit was fun. I'm not and, gonna lie. And we didn't even really like get to fully experience it. We showed up late, balls. around what ten o'clock. Yeah. And, my and they closed at one, but there was a lot of stuff that we really oh. we went around. But the concessions and the the uh, sit that cereal bar was closed. Mm -hmm. We ate before we came, so we didn't eat food. But if we had the full experience, that part of it, that. That would have been a good day. And so for y'all, so and go to that. for y'all that don't know, which most of y'all probably don't, it's a free arcade place. That's only fourteen dollars. Now the only, I was a little disappointed when I first walked in because I'm like, damn, you can't play for prizes, but it's free. All the games are free, and they have some games that I think are from like the 1950s, like arcade games. Retro. Super cool. They have this one place out or this one station. Once again, I try to find a video, but you really low golf balls into a launcher and just shoot it at targets or well, they had another area where it was two wooden donkeys and you got to throw a ball at their ass mm -hmm. and they like light up and like get mad like it it was just cool bro it's not free it's four it's 14 dollars for limited 14 dollar admission and unlimited games like you don't just walk in and play the games free oh yeah no yeah, yeah but my it's 14 dollar admission that play unlimited games the golf ball launcher unlimited all that stuff and I mean, that was a good time. We bust their ass in tennis too. Don't let them tell you. Oh yeah, we did whoop them in tennis. <laughs> so, so they played the game. Nah. We were on something else. Then we walk up. They say, "Play us." They already know the controls and everything. We don't know what button to hit. We don't know how to. Serve. We know the controls. I just want to put that out there. They did win, but they overdoing it. They over. Excuses, it. excuses, excuses. Not that serious. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> oh, also. To the cameraman, he rated breakfast like a four. He rated everything else five and six. Everything was low, but then overall vacation is an eight. The math ain't mathing. Your average should have been like a five. Okay, well, he talking about the math ain't mathing. Let's, let's do the math, right? So out of the 48 hours, a little over 48 hours we were on vacation, the amount of time we spent eating breakfast was not even 1% of that. The Airbnb was a small percent, so why would that knock my rating down so much? I had plenty of other good breakfasts. Uh, I barely slept. I was up doing other things all day, so once again, oh, that's not plugged in. <laughs> so once again, uh, it, it, that, that does equivalent for taking off two points. So it, it does make sense, eight out of 10. Would you come back to Fort? <laughs> For Atkinson? Yes. Yeah, I'll go back to okay. Atkinson. Yeah. I need I need to hit that skate park. Hey, fireworks is low key, like top <laughs> tier. Like I've never seen that shit before in my life. Like, that's right. crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what y'all doing. Too. Doing yeah, in the in the dairy lane. It's the dairy lane, right? Wisconsin. Dairy state, yeah. I don't know what y'all doing up there, but y'all fireworks different. Man. Because that one <laughs> Bro. At least what y'all sell to, to regular uh citizens. That Bro, okay, no, you're not <laughs> lying. But Tyreek OD, bro. <laughs> I mean, OC. <laughs> this nigga was making us seem like we don't got shit. Nigga, <laughs> popper? You, you know, he's, he, 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 no, you they, they, was, they was cold, but you was like, we don't got this. I'm like, nigga, we do got this in Chicago. Like, we, don't, we don't got this. This, uh, I'm like, Tyreek, yeah, bro. That street shit, that fucking sound like a fucking... But the, 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 okay. Line, they, technically, we don't, but we can get it from Indiana. Yeah. But, but they be popping off the same things on the west side, uh, on the fourth. Yeah, so I, I the poppers. No, them poppers yeah, was different. I should have recorded that. <laughs> but yeah, I no. I, was, I thought I went to heaven, bro. 
Right. Wait, that's gonna be heaven for you? This shit that loud noise, bro. I know what happened next. <laughs> right. One thing I will say, um, like they were mentioning, the stores didn't have a bunch of good stuff, like stuff I could probably find uh, other other mall at other malls, but. I do think that I did a good job. I got to credit myself because I was really tempted to just buy something because I hadn't bought none yet, right? So I gave myself a budget and up until yesterday, I haven't even, I still didn't never reach like my budget, but I was real low under that. So in my mind, I'm like, I'm seeing stuff. I'm like, man, I got money. Might as well just grab it. So I stay disciplined with that, but I didn't have to walk out with a few items, you know? My phone over there, so I can't look it up. All right, but anyways, y'all, I'm going I'm to close out the video right now, man. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on those post notifications because my next video, I'm going to be dropping everything that I got from all of America, me and Michaela, man. If we had an extra day here, I would include everybody else. But okay, this I, all think, I, got. I don't think they got much. But so we're going to start right now. This all I got. But make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. That's how you feel? <laughs> <laughs> this all I got is a hat. Huh? Oh. The little Bulls hat. Tyreek went crazy though. Oh, it's I'm, souvenirs, but souvenirs. Like, I don't know what Kiana got. What? What did you get? M and M's and a free blanket and shirts from Bubblegum. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have Tyreek send me some pictures. I'm gonna show y'all what he got, man. And then me and Michaela gonna make a video, so make sure y'all check out for that. But as always, man, make sure to keep y'all heads up and keep pushing, cause one day you will see the light.